Hi, it's Hannah from Better Not Stop and today I'm going to talk to you about the difference between race to zero, net zero and becoming carbon neutral. This kind of comes up quite often when businesses want to make sure they're being completely honest and transparent with their customers about whether they are on the race to net zero or being carbon neutral. So I just wanted to explain the slight difference between these two phrases and why it's really important for you to understand what they mean. So. The idea is that we really need to reduce the amount of greenhouse gases we're creating in the atmosphere to reduce the temperature increases that is being created by climate crisis. So at the moment, we're on track for the climate um, temperature to increase. Um, we really don't want it to increase more than 1.5 degrees. Now, in order to do that, we really need to reduce the amount of carbon emissions that we are creating as a uh, people and as individuals and as businesses that's going into the atmosphere so that we reduce that down so that we do not increase the temperature more than 1.5 degrees. So the idea about race to net zero is we're trying to do it so that we're reducing that down so actually there's no more carbon emissions going into the atmosphere and we're not increasing that temperature. So when we talk about that race, we're talking about all businesses, all people, all individuals looking at how can we reduce down our carbon footprint through the work that we do and what we create to really take us down to net zero. So when a business is talking about uh, its commitment to net zero, what it's doing about net zero, it really should be sharing with you how it's one, measured its own carbon footprint and then the systems and processes it's doing to implement changes in that business to reduce that carbon footprint down. Now I truly believe waiting till 2030 is just too long, nearly eight years no 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 too long we need to be doing that yesterday so race to net zero businesses should be measuring their carbon footprint so that's how much carbon they're creating but through their scope one two and three emissions and then what they're doing to reduce that before they're looking at becoming carbon neutral so that's race, that's net zero hopefully that's answered that part of the question second part of the question is becoming carbon neutral now any business can become carbon neutral quite easily. They measure what their carbon footprint is and then they look at ways to offset that through projects like tree planting or solar panels, using renewable energy, things like that. We use Ecology to offset our carbon as an organisation, but for us it's really important to look at how we can reduce our carbon before we offset the carbon that we've created. Now often, carbon neutrality is determined by kind of very basic guesses. So a business can, you know, as an individual, we can basically guess how much the average individual creates when it comes to carbon. Do a quick um, calculator, work out that we probably create between five to 20 tonnes of carbon a year and offset that using a carbon offsetting project. Uh, and then by doing that, we can say that we're carbon neutral. Now, what we really would do to be really sure about that is measure our scope one, two and three emissions to then see what our real carbon footprint is and then look at those three things and everything that we've measured and see is there ways we can reduce our carbon footprint in these areas before we then go carbon neutral. Now, I'll give you an example of this because something we also need to think about is our climate shadow. So if we think about, let's say, what's gonna have more of an impact on the climate is, let's say, a climate protester, climate crisis protester, traveling around the world, inspiring tens of thousands of people to think about their carbon footprint and find ways to reduce it, speaking to government leaders, pushing towards policies and all of that, but they're flying around on a plane versus the CEO of a fossil fuel company who is actively lobbying and spending hundreds of millions or billions of pounds lobbying governments to continue to use their stuff, but they walk to work and they live in a small apartment. So that person individually, uh, one's got a much higher carbon footprint than the other, but their climate shadow, like actually the work they're doing, the action that they're doing to kind of stop the climate crisis is much more positive than the others. So it's not just about measuring our footprint, reducing it, offsetting it and becoming carbon neutral. It's about our general behaviours and our actions towards trying to become a climate positive and really focus on how we're going to solve the climate crisis. Now, 
really want to say at the end of this video, hopefully you've understood the difference between race to zero and becoming climate neutral. And if I haven't been clear on any of my points, please let me know in the comments below or ask me a question. I get back to every single one of those. But I, what I want you to do is as an individual, you may feel helpless and I'm telling you, you are not powerless. Write to your MP, write to the people in charge through your actions, through the way in which you protest, through the way in which you vote, through where you keep your money in the bank, through where you put your pension, to how you spend your money moving forward. These are all ways in which you can have the power to make a difference in this climate crisis. Uh, if you've got any more questions, as I said, comments below. If you want to learn more, sign up to my weekly newsletter or subscribe to this YouTube channel. And thanks so much for your time today and I hope you have a great week.